I was one of the uh, primary uh, treating physicians of uh, the patient who potentially passed away from uh, complications of vape, and vape lung or vape-induced lung injury. The patient uh, was previously a very healthy uh, person, uh, had some chronic pain uh, complaints and, and had, would use uh, and vape THC oils uh, mm -hmm. to help manage the, the pain. Um, and had been doing that for some time until uh, they presented to the emergency room because acutely over, or suddenly over a couple days had become very short of breath uh, to the point that they were short of breath just doing basic things, walking around the room, walking into the emergency room. Uh, at that time, the thought at the emergency room that they had presented to uh, the thought was that this was some sort of allergic reaction because they didn't see any sign that the patient was infected or had pneumonia uh, or, or something else that they could point to. Mm -hmm. uh, so they put them on, put the patient on steroids. It's a kind of as a medicine to help reduce that allergic reaction in the lungs and try to uh, clear the lungs up so that the breathing would get better. Unfortunately, over the next couple of weeks. The patient got significantly worse despite that treatment and ended up getting admitted to a hospital where they continued to try to figure out why the patient was getting, having such a hard time breathing and why the lungs were progressively failing to the point that eventually uh, they were put on uh, life support with a breathing machine. And even with that, the breathing continued to get worse, the oxygen in the body continued to get lower, uh, and they eventually asked to transfer the patient to our center uh, where we were able to put uh, the patient on something called ECMO, which is uh, a life support where we do the entire work of the lung and mm -hmm. we take the, the patient's blood and take it out of the body, mm -hmm. put oxygen into it and put it back into the body. Mm -hmm. uh, and we supported the patient for around three weeks uh, in that manner, uh, trying to figure out a cause. And the only thing that ever came back was, that, uh, was the use of uh, the THC and vaping. Mm -hmm. Uh, and all other uh, possible causes were essentially ruled out uh, over that time. Uh, and unfortunately, due to complications of, of that treatment, uh, the patient passed away uh, before uh, we could get them to any uh, type of transplant or recovery uh, area because the lungs weren't re responding to the therapy that we were giving. As a pulmonologist, the uh, biggest message I can say is that anytime we put anything into our lungs that is not natural and shouldn't be there, it could potentially cause significant harm uh, and to the point of even causing our death. Uh, I think this case is a good example of a patient that was um, you know, very healthy, otherwise not, not on any other significant medications and potentially uh, passed away because of a complication of vaping. Uh, and you know, when we go through and other products come out over time as well, I think it's important to remember that any, our lungs are not are built to protect themselves and they can respond very aggressively uh, to any foreign substances that get put into them. And so as safe as things can be reported as being, there's potential uh, great harm if we, are, if we are putting anything into our lungs. And so uh, breathe our air, you know, take our medications if they're inhaled, but avoid any foreign substances at all times.